my song any good? Sure. I just made it better. I'm gonna take it to Nashville. I know it's crazy. This is a shot. To just go to Nashville with some old has-been that everybody thinks is dead is ridiculous. I will never, ever get another chance like this. Are you Claude Allen? My grandmother loves you. Bo, Rob, I mean, music is really the heartbeat of this film. So how has music been a big influence in your lives? It's always been a part of my life. I've always loved music. My dad loved singing, and it was kind of a, a family thing to do. It was a huge hobby of mine. I picked up my first guitar when I was 16 and learned EAB7. It was an old Dan Electro. And then my brother, after he took it and became quite good on the guitar, he sold that guitar to one of his friends. That guitar now would be worth a few thousand bucks. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, no it's kidding. like a classic old guitar. Wow. Same for me, actually. As a matter of fact, one of my first guitars was a Dan Electro, and it's been my saving grace. I'm so blessed that I get to do it, especially in this film. This movie is about the song, and it all comes back to that. So it's music through and through. This song can't lose. It'll be just like the good old days. Woo! We got a record deal! And Rob, what music artists have had the greatest impact on your life? The reason that I'm doing country music in the first place is because of Michael Peterson, who I'm, I must have been, I don't know, eight years old, 12 years old, whatever it was, young kid in Cleveland, Ohio. And we were driving around, me and my dad in the car, and he kind of passed over a, uh, a country radio station. I said, wait, go back, there's some cool harmonies. What was that? He's like, oh, it's country music. I said, I'm, I'm interested. And the song that I heard was a song called By the Book that Michael Peterson wrote and he performed. And he's been a hero for most of my life. And as luck would have it, power of manifesting, I suppose. Now we're working on some music together. Wow, everything comes full circle. I love those kind of stories. Sometimes <laughs> it does. You owe me the money. I can't afford this. I still got a job. There's no future in it, Wayne. You know that better than anybody. Get us going. Two, three, four. Bo, oh, I mean, how has this world, this country music world been for you and in getting involved in it? Has it always been a part of you as well? I've always loved country music. It's a storytelling music. I've always really enjoyed it. And I also am a big fan of Lee Bryce's. Yeah. I drive your truck, and I'm like, man, oh. that song always brings me to tears when I hear that. And he's really wonderful in this movie. I don't think he'd acted a whole lot, huh? A little bit, I don't maybe. think so. No. You're a legend. When's the last time you heard me on the radio? He pulled up in his big truck, his big bus. I guess he records it, and he, he said he likes it because he pulls it up to his house when he's not on the road, and he can record things in there and hang out with his kids and his wife and everything. He's a great guy. I mean, I had fun with him. Still partners? Hey. 